All right, you got your Black Friday bargain and a Cyber Monday steal, but there's no reason why you should stop getting those deals. The Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowles suggests using gift cards to get those good deals, and she joins us with details on that. Gift cards. And this is something you and I talked about earlier that we might not have tried, but I think I've convinced you, I've convinced myself, and I'm getting some feedback from you. Now, we all know what a gift card is, and likely most of us have used them from time to time, but let's talk about how you can use a gift card to actually get a deal. Take this statistic, it's from CEB, it's a business advisory group. Get this, about a billion dollars worth of gift cards go unused every year. One billion dollars, just sitting in those drawers, buried in wallets, lost in purses. I've got a ton myself. For a while now, folks have been selling those gift cards they don't want. You, you know, you got a hundred dollar gift card you know you're never going to use. You can likely get about 75 bucks for it. Now, here's how this helps you. You can buy that $100 gift card at a discount. Generally 16 to 17% cheaper than the full value. So $100 gift card, you're gonna pay $83.50, something like that. But here's a real world way to save even more money. Let's say your daughter wants this coat. I think it's cute, it's beautiful. It's 128 bucks. I think that's too much for a kid, but it's steep. So let's chip away at it because you have two things here, a discounted gift card, and you've landed on a 40% off sale, which is not unusual to see this time of year, that kind of savings. Now with a discounted gift card, you've already saved $16.50, and with that big sale, you're gonna save another $51.20, and that coat's now gonna cost you $60.30, and that is doable. You know, you could even buy another gift card and knock off another 16 bucks, <laughs> and then you've got a $128 coat for $40. Four dollars. Just don't buy two of them or yeah. three of them. Yeah. Although Joanne says we're going to need a few coats when yeah. that cold weather yeah. comes through. But you know, I've heard about those websites on buying those gift cards. How do you know that you're not getting scammed when you're looking for it? And that's been my reticence too, because yeah. I've heard about this for a while and I've never done it because it's kind of freaked me out a little bit. But I did a little research for me and for you, for Constance here, <laughs> and there are sites out there that offer money back guarantees. So you've got to look for the big well-established site, you gotta pay with a credit card so that you can dispute the charge if anything goes wrong. And this story is already posted, fox5atlanta.com. There's links there with some information where you can see how the industry has graded gift card buyers and sellers. All right, good I recommend checking yeah. it out. I think I'm going to. I'll let you know what happens. All right, I'm gonna do the same. I wanna save money this holiday season. All right. uh, okay. <laughs> All right.